Number 296. There are three questions in the test. For each question, one point is awarded for a correct answer and none for a wrong answer. If the probability that Janine correctly answers a question in the test is 2 over 3, determine the probability that she gets 0 in the test. So given tayo ng probability ng correct answer, which is 2 thirds. Tapos meron tayong 3 questions. At ang hinahanap natin, anong probability that she gets 0 or she gets all wrong. Since ang probability natin na correct yung answer niya ay 2 thirds, yung probability naman na incorrect is 1 minus 2 thirds. Probability is 1 minus 2 thirds. Ito yung probability na incorrect siya, which is 1 third. So ngayon, anong probability na dun sa 3 questions na inansaran niya, 0 ang makukuha niya? Ibig sabihin, incorrect all 3. So itong 1 third, erase mo lang sa 3. So equal to sa 1 over 3 raised to 3 is 27. So ang correct answer natin ay 1 over 27, which is letter D. Number 297. In the ECE board examinations, the probability that an examinee will pass each subject is 80% or 0.8. What is the probability that an examinee will pass at least two subjects out of the three board subjects? Given tayo ng probability of passing which is 0.8 at ang hinahanap natin, anong probability of passing at least two out of three subjects dun sa ECE board examination? So, since sabi niya, passing at least 2 out of 3, ibig sabihin, yung probability natin is the sum of probabilities of passing 2 subjects and passing 3 subjects. Ahin natin to. Probability of passing 2 subjects is equal to yung probability of passing natin, 0 0.8 squared. Kasi dalawang beses kang papasa, Tapos yung pangatlo dapat, yung isa sa kanila, babagsak. So, anong probability na babagsak? So, yung, kung yung passing ay 0 0.8, ibig sabihin, failing 0 0.2. So, raise to 1 yan. Tapos, simultiply natin ng combination of 3 taken 2 at a time. Kasi merong iba't ibang combinations kung saan pwedeng pumasa yung student or yung examinee. So, dun sa 3 subjects na yun, pwede ang maipasa niya ay yung first and second subject o yung first and third or yung second and third. So meron mga possibilities na ganun. So yung multiply natin dun yung probability natin. So dun naman sa probability ng passing 3 subjects P3 is equal to So yung probability of passing natin ay 0 0.8 raised to 3. So hindi na natin kailangan i-multiply ng combination to. Kasi 1 din na yung combination yan. Kasi from 3 subjects Iko combination natin 3. 3 dapat yung ipapasa niya. So 1 din lang to. Kaya hindi mo na kailangan multiply. So i-solve natin tong mga to. Tapos i-add natin. At yun na yung tamang sagot. So 0 0.8 squared times 0 0.2 times 3 combination 2 equals 48 over 125 plus 0.8 raised to 3. So, tamang sagot dito ay 112 over 125 or 89.6%. So, doon sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot. Number 298. In a multiple choice test, each question is to be answered by selecting one out of five choices of which only one is right. If there are 10 questions in a test, what is the probability of getting 6 right of pure guesswork? So, given tayo ng 10 questions, 5 choices each question, and through guesswork, anong probability of getting 6 correct answer? So, since meron tayong 5 choices, ang probability na makuha natin yung tamang sagot ay 1 out of 5. So, ito yung probability of correct answer. Ngayon naman, isolve natin yung probability of getting 6 correct answers. So itong 1 fifth, probability of correct answer, ang probability naman of incorrect answer ay 1 minus 1 fifth, which is 4 fifth. So, so dapat, makakuha siya ng 6 correct answers. 
So, dapat yung 1 fifth, i-raise natin ng 6. Kasi probability to ng correct answer. Times 4 fifth, raise to 4. So, dapat, kung 6 ang makukuha niyang tamang sagot, 4 dapat ang makukuha niyang maling sagot. Tapos ito, i-multiply natin to ng combination of 10 taken 6 at a time. Kasi merong iba't ibang ways na makakuha siya ng mga tamang sagot dun sa 10 questions na yun. Na meron siyang different combinations na possible. Kaya multiply natin siya ng 10 combination 6. Para yung last problem natin. So ito yung total probability natin. Isold natin. So 1 fifth or 0.2 raised to 6 times 4 fifth or 0.8 raised to 4 times 10 combination 6 So ang tamang sagot dito ay 5.5 times 10 raised to negative 3 Pero dun sa choices percentage Kaya multiply natin ito ng 100 So 0.55% ang tamang sagot dito Which is letter D Number 299 From a box containing 6 red balls 8 white balls and 10 blue balls One ball is drawn at random Determine the probability that it is red or white So given tayo ng 6 red balls 8 white balls 10 blue balls Tapos bubunot tayo ng isa dun Ano daw ang probability of getting white or red? So yung total probability natin Ay i-add lang natin yung probability ng white Plus yung probability ng red so Yung probability natin is equal to probability ng white plus probability ng red So ano bang probability na white yung makuha natin? So equal to sa total number of white balls which is 8 divided by yung total number of balls So meron tayong 14 plus 10 meron tayong 24 balls plus yung probability naman ng red total number of red balls 6 over total number of balls 24 so, equal to sa 8 plus 6, 14, divided by 24. 14 over 24, or also equal to 7 over 12. So, dun sa choices natin, letter B ang tamang sagot. Number 300. From a bag containing 4 black balls and 5 white balls, 2 balls are drawn once at a time. Find the probability that both balls are white. Assume that the first ball is returned before the second ball is drawn. So given tayo ng 4 black balls and 5 white balls, tapos 2 are drawn one at a time with returning. Ibig sabihin, pagkabunot mo ng isa, bago ka bumunot ng pangalawa, ibabalik mo muna yung nauna. Tapos ang hinahanap natin dito, probability that both are white. So dalawang beses tayo magdadraw. Meron tayong dalawang probabilities. Doon sa una, ano yung probability na white yung makuha natin? So, meron tayong 5 white balls out of a total of 9 balls. Tapos doon sa pangalawang draw, since binalik natin, return. Since binalik natin yung white ball kanina, back to original tayo. Meron ulit tayong 5 white balls over total of 9 balls. So, yung probability natin, i-multiply lang natin itong dalawang to. So, this is equal to 25 over 81 So, dun sa choices letter A ang tamang sagot Number 301 A bag contains 3 white balls and 5 black balls If 2 balls are drawn in succession without replacement what is the probability that both balls are black? So, given tayo ng 3 white balls and 5 black balls tapos 2 balls are drawn without replacement So, hanapin natin yung probability that both are black So yung desired outcome natin, or desired event, are combination of 5 taken 2 at a time. So from the 5 black balls, dapat makuha natin yung dalawa. Tapos, divided by yung total possibilities. So meron tayong total of 8 balls. Tapos kukuha tayo ng dalawa dun. So ito yung total number of possibilities, or total number of events. Ito naman yung desired event. Dapat ang makuha natin galing sa black. So, yung probability natin is equal to 
फाइव कॉम्बिनेशन टू डिवाइडेड बाय एट कॉम्बिनेशन टू सो फाइव ओवर फोर्टीन सो दिन से चॉइसेस लेते ही दिया तमाम से कुछ सो अनदर वे ऑफ सॉल्विंग दिस सो पहले रेन magdodraw tayo ng dalawang balls. So, dun sa unang draw natin, anong probability na black yung makuha natin? So, meron tayong 5 over 8. Meron tayong 5 black balls out of total of 8. Tapos, dun sa pangalawang draw natin, without replacement. Ibig sabihin, nabawasan na ng isa yung black balls natin. Meron na lang tayong 4. Out of a total of 7. Kasi nga nabawasan na ng isa, yung 8 na total balls natin. So pag pinultiply mo yan, magiging 20 over 56. So pag divide mo ito ng 4, magiging 5 over 14. So this hindi na yung sagot. 5 over 14. Number 302. An urn contains 4 black balls and 6 white balls. What is the probability of getting one black and one white ball in two consecutive draws from the urn? So given tayo ng four black balls at six white balls. So ano daw ang probability of getting one black ball and one white ball? So ang solution nito, yung probability natin is equal to sa so, numerator natin, dapat makakuha tayo ng isang white ball at isang black ball. So dun sa black ball, dapat makakuha tayo ng isa dun sa black. So, 4 combination of 1 times, dun sa white ball, dapat meron din tayong isa na makuha. So, from 6, dapat makakuha tayo ng isa. Tapos, i-divide natin ng total possible combinations. So, meron tayong 10 balls in total. So, from 10 balls, kukuha tayo ng dalawa. So, ito yung probability natin. So, yung 4 combination 1, 4 lang yan. Tsaka yung 6 combination 1, 6 lang yan. Tapos, i-divide natin yan ng 10 combination 2. So, 8 over 15 ang tamang sagot. In decimal, 0.53. So, dun sa choices, letters yan ang tamang sagot. 0.53. Another way of solving this, probability is equal to, so, anong probability na yung unang draw natin, black ang makuha natin. 4, di ba? 4 over 10. Times, ano yung probability na yung second draw natin, white naman yung makuha natin. So, meron tayong 6 over 9. 9 na lang kasi nabawasan na ng isa yung total number of balls natin. Kaya lang, hindi lang yan yung possible way. Kasi ito, black yung nauna. White yung sumunod. Pwede ring white yung mauna, black yung sumunod. So, another way, white yung nauna, 6 over 10, times black yung sumunod, 4 over 9. So, 4 times 6 over 9, 9 times 10 are 90, plus 6 over 10, times 4 over 9. So, 8 over 15 din lang, or 0.53. So, same line mo ako mong sagot dito. 0.53. Number 303. From a bag containing 4 black balls and 5 white balls, 2 balls are drawn one at a time. Find the probability that one ball is white and one ball is black. Assume that the first ball is returned before the second ball is drawn. So, meron tayong 4 black balls and 5 white balls. So, 2 balls are drawn, 1 at a time, with replacement. So, hanapin natin yung probability of getting 1 white ball and 1 black ball. So, sa problem na to, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung solution which involves combination. Kasi, with replacement to. Yung solution na ginagamitan ng combination, dapat without replacement yun. Itong problem na to, isasolve natin by analysis. So, meron tayong two ways para makakuha ng one white ball and one black ball. Yung first case, 
Pwede ang mauna ay white. Tapos, yung susunod ay black. So, yung second case naman, or second scenario, pwede black yung mauna, at white yung susunod. So, dun tayo sa first scenario muna. Anong probability na white ang unang mabunot natin? So, meron tayong 5 white balls divided by a total of 9. Times. So, dun sa pangalawang draw natin, ano yung probability na ang makuha naman natin ay black? So, meron tayong 4 black balls divided by 9 pa rin. Kasi binalik natin yung white ball kanina. Kasi with replacement to. So, ito yung probability ng first case. So, meron tayong 20 over 81. Tapos yung pangalawang case naman, o scenario, kapag black ball yung mauna, meron tayong 4 over 9. Kasi 4 black balls divided by total of 9. Tapos yung pangalawa, 5 white balls divided by a total of 9 balls. So, meron tayong 20 over 81 pa rin. So, yung total probability natin, i-add mo lang tong dalawang to. 20 over 81 plus 20 over 81. So, pag pinag-add mo yan, i-add mo lang yung numerator niya, meron kang 40 over 81. So, ito na yung tamang sagot. At based sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot. Number 304. A group of three people enter a theater after the lights had dimmed. They are shown to the correct group of three seats by the usher. Each person holds a number stub. What is the probability that each is in the correct seat according to the numbers on seat and stub? So, meron tayong three people. Tapos ang hinahanap natin, probability of correct arrangement. So, para malaman natin yung probability, dapat malaman natin kung ilan yung desired events natin. So, ilan ba yung possible na correct arrangement? Isa lang, ba? Isa lang naman yung correct arrangement sa kanila. Tapos, i-divide natin sa total number of possible events. So, ilan yung pwedeng arrangements ng 3 people? So, 3 factorial or 3 permutation of 3. So, ganun na kasimple yung solution ng problem na to. 1 divided by 3 factorial. At ang 3 factorial ay 3 times 2 times 1 or 6. So, ang tamang sagot dito ay 1 over 6. So, dun sa choices, letter A ang correct answer. Number 305 From 20 tickets marked with the first 20 numerals, one is drawn at random. What is the chance that it will be a multiple of 3 or of 7? So, meron tayong 20 tickets numbered 1 to 20. Tapos, one is drawn. So, ano yung probability na yung nabunot na ticket ay multiple of 3 or 7? So, probability is equal to yung desired outcomes number of desired events or outcomes divided by total number of events. So, yung total number of events natin, meron tayong a total of 20 tickets. So, ano ba yung mga multiple ng 3 at 7 from 1 to 20? So, unahin natin yung 3. So, meron tayong 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Tapos, yung 7 naman, meron tayong 7 and 14. So, ito lang yung mga multiples na possible. Ito yung mga desired events natin. So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Meron tayong 8 desired events or possible outcomes. So, ito lang yung lagay natin sa numerator. So, 8 divided by 20 is equal to, pag, pag sinimplify mo to, equal yan sa 2 out of 5. So, dun sa choices, letter D ang tamang sagot. 2 out of 5.